Today we're standing next to a Bobcat S570. This is a skid steer loader in our loader lineup that is in the middle of the lineup. We build several machines smaller than this and several larger, but this is one of the most popular skid steer loaders available. The 500 size loaders come in horsepowers ranging from 49 horsepower up to 66. And again, that area of the skid steer loader is the most popular range that we have. Okay, when we look at the rear of the machine here, we're gonna look at the engine compartment. And the first thing we wanna no note and point out is the engine that we use, which is a Bobcat branded engine. It is the tier four level engine that we are using in North America today. A lot of engines that are in this size and horsepower range use a diesel oxygen catalyst as well as a diesel particulate filter. For our machines, we are using technologies that are a little bit advanced and therefore we can use an engine that only has a catalyst on it. We do not have a filter and don't have to worry about the additional maintenance with that. So what we like to look at in the engine area is the ease of serviceability and ease of maintainability back here for engine oil checks and fills, engine oil change, access to the alternator, starter, air conditioning, compressor, things like that, fuel fill, fuel filter, all right here when you open in the tailgate. Okay, on the rear of the machine we were looking at serviceability where when we get to the front of the machine now we start looking at where the operator sits. And operator comfort on machines today is more important than it has ever been. In the machines that we're building today, which we call our M-Series machines, we built in a lot of operator comfort features that are helping them work longer days, work more comfortably. The cab itself is a little bit larger than what we've had in the past. We've opened up the window areas, the front door area for better visibility, and again, just make it easier to see. The cab has actually moved forward so that an operator can see his work area and his attachments easier. Inside the cab, we have three different types of controls that uh, they can choose from. The, that way they can select their most uh, favorable or familiar control setup and work with that. Once again, inside the cab, we have things like uh, suspension seats available, air ride seats available, there's air conditioning and heaters that can be put in the machine, radios, we have something, things as simple as a cup holder that's been requested for years and now that we have it in the machine, customers appreciate that. There's, there's power ports to uh, charge your, your cell phones and other things. So a lot of things inside the cab that make it more enjoyable and more productive for the operator while they're running it and working in the machine.